Hey you guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi! <laughs> um, today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're going to review a proper sentence would be amazing. We are going to be reviewing the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I know I may be a little bit late to the party, but that's okay because now I'm here. So basically, I saw this go viral on like TikTok and I was like, what? Okay, instead of getting it as like something that would be like my shade, I got a deeper shade to use it as like a bronzer. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I did. I mean, okay, I'm assuming so if people are using it to bronze and contour Nicolette. What I mean is that like, I'm sure that you can get this in your proper shade and then it could be like a nice like body bronzing foundation thing. Today's video is going to be reviewing this item. As you can tell, I have nothing on my spit skin. It's thin. I have nothing on my skin. So I'm going to prep and everything. So you guys are going to know what I'm wearing so y'all know what the real dealio is. So if you guys want to see what the real dealio is, then please keep watching. So. Let's start by prepping. So I'm gonna take my first A Beauty Ultra Repair Collagen Cream. This is a must for me. It gives me hydration in all of these places that I need if I have any dry spots. And it provides a really nice base for like my SPF and my primer, which I really do love. I'm gonna go into my Dermalogica Prisma Protect SPF 30. Absolutely stunning, amazing, 10 out of 10. Totally recommend. For primer today, I'm gonna go into my Smashbox Vitamin Glow, vitamins B, C, and E. I love it. It's like a serum and I really, really love it. Okay, so that's how I'm prepping the skin. So quickly, I am gonna go into my Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Foundation love this one this one is in the shade medium neutral and then over top of that i'm gonna go into my la girl pro concealer i was gonna say lip gloss concealer this one is in the shade bisque so i'm gonna speed through this but this is what i'm using on my skin today and i'm using my lovely cover fx brush to blend it out i love this brush it has some cool bristles and it really helps blend it out for a flawless application so let's get into it It just farted on me. Okay, grow up, Nicolette, please. Have you listened to Tinashe's new album? If you haven't, what are you doing? Go ahead, stream 333, please, because it's stuck in my head. Dang, and then yummy, yummy, baby. Hold on, wait, I look like peanut butter. Hold on. I was gonna sing for y'all, you feel me? Like, baby, got a yummy, yummy, baby, gonna get it. Like, this is looking a little crazy. I love when I hair, have my hair up in like a top knot. Like, I feel like I look like a baddie. Like, a nice baggy hoodie with your hair in a top knot and some cute either little hoops or big hoops, and boom. Baddie level achieved. Level acquired. Bad bitch status. I don't think I could be the, I could, I don't, I don't think I could ever be one of those girls that just put foundation on and then go out because. I don't feel like my face looks a little long, like. But then when I contour. Anyways, I applied some powder like right underneath the eye because I did not want Miss Mamas to start creasing. So, yeah, but let's get into the main idea, the main of this video. Okay, so this is her. I got the shade Dark. And this is what it looks like in the component. It's so cute. Very luxe, very cute. And this is what it looks like. It has the little thing that I can never... I got it. So this is it. This is the shade Dark. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Why did that sound like that? Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and start applying it. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. Take the smaller side and start sculpting. 
Oh, the pigment. Hold on. That's scary. Is this the brush or is... No, it's the product. It has a scent. It's a very scented product. I'm sure it said that in one of the parts that I didn't read. And that's fine. I don't mind scented products, but I know a lot of people have to be careful with scented products because it can break them out. I mean, it can bear me out. But um, it smells like... I know what it smells like, but it's not coming to me. It's like, what are those, like, like those old, like, little, little lip glosses. It smells like one of those old, like, lip glosses that you would get. Like, not like lips, I guess kind of like lip smackers and like the roller balls. Like, that's what it smells like. Very candy-like. I mean, it's not unpleasant. It smells like a vacation. Yeah. It smells like a vacay. I guess, I guess I get that. I guess, I guess I understand it. I don't... I prefer my face products to not have a scent because like, I break out enough as, you know, as it is. I don't, I don't, I don't want more pimples. But okay, I'm gonna take the opposite side of this brush, the e.l.f. Complexion Duo, and I'm gonna blend. I think that blended nicely, so let's start. Okay. Okay, so this is the product blended, unblended, unblended, blended out. That is the difference. I love how beautifully that blended into the skin. Um, it looks so natural and so pretty. Like, I don't know, I really, really like it. Hold on. So I'm gonna go in with my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder and I'm gonna set everywhere that I didn't um, use the bronzer because I don't think I wanna set it. It gives me such a nice everyday like bronzy look that I really don't think I need to nor do I want to set it so that's what I'm gonna do I go ahead and set my face with my Urban Decay on nighter setting spray gonna finish off the lips real quick so time to share my final thoughts I love this product um this was so good I love it a lot it's much better than other cream bronzers that I've tried. I like to go in and go over it with um, with a bronzing powder. So that's what I'm going to do while I'm doing the review. But this is what it looks like without that. And I really do love it. It really sculpts my face nicely without being too harsh. And I really like that. I feel like that's important in a cream bronzer because you don't want anything that's going to be too crazy it brings me warmth and it's so easy to blend out it does smell good like i said it does have a scent um which i don't mind it but i know a lot of people do and it could break people out including me but i like the scent it's nice and it is such a good product i am totally gonna write that a 10 out of 10 i would totally recommend everybody's been talking about it and i really do see why i think ColourPop and soul body really nailed it on this product because this is really good it's in such good packaging too that won't break easily or it's like it's so good i really like it I like it. I was surprised that I had a scent, but at the same time not. Kind of reminds me of something like coconutty. But I really, really like it. I'm going to start using this all the time. What the heck? I also do want to get one in my shade. Ah, I don't know if people use it as foundation. It's more of like a bronzing balm. But yes, I really, really do like this and recommend. I totally see the hype. So you guys let me know what you think down below. If you guys have tried it, let me your girl know and if you liked it or not and why or why not thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more i love no like thank god thank god for tiktok for real because if i didn't watch tiktoks i wouldn't have known about this product 
and wouldn't have bought it. Like I, I paid attention, I pay attention to ColourPop, but like I would not have gotten this to be honest with you. Like 100%. So thank you TikTok and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <sighs> Show up, if you're gonna roll up Meet me on the west side for me